as you can tell, my hair is pretty blue, and um, I went ahead and, um, because I was kind of like getting upset, not upset, but I was getting kind of tired of the whole, um, some parts were taking the smoky, the smoky blue L'Oreal hair dye, and some parts weren't, because, again, like I said before, the hair dye, or when I bleached it, it wasn't um, all the way even, so I went ahead and I decided to dye the top part of my head the, um, a dark blue, which is called, um, what is it called? It is called Electric Blue from um, Sparks. Let me show you the box real quick. I can find it. Yes, right here. So this is the, this is the product that I used smoky blue and it's not smoky blue I'm saying electric blue and I think I did it upside down sorry so anyways I use this for the top of my head and what's nice about the about the sparks and I think I mentioned it from previous videos that there's no ammonia um, I think if I'm not mistaken it's vegan free I think it's vegan yeah it's it's cruel cruelty free I mean it's not been tested on animals so, uh, which is good, and it's it's a very um, you know it, again it's not it actually kind of makes your hair a lot softer after you use it, so it's pretty nice. So I went ahead and I got this, and then you know I've been I've been working on um, using um, conditioner, shampoo, color depositor. I, I know I miss I miss jumbled that a big time, but it's um, you know the color depositor um, conditioner slash shampoo, and so the first one I really started using was the Claire Care Color, and this was for the gray, and I well I mean I don't think how do I put it. I don't know if my hair was light enough or um, it the gray just didn't take to my the silver just didn't take to my hair I'm not too sure because I've used this like a lot I've been using this instead of using my I would use my shampoo and then I would use this for my conditioner and I just wasn't seeing a lot of results. The only time I saw some results, and I don't know if I have a picture of it, I will check if I do, um, was when I used it on my dry hair. So I basically, you know, like how we would use the purple shampoo to make your hair, to tone your hair. Well, that's kind of what I did with this to see if I would actually see any difference. I saw some difference, not a huge difference, but some difference and it was more on the ends not so much on the top and so I don't know I mean there's a lot of mixed um, mixed um, views of this of that product on YouTube some people really like it some people really don't like it because they don't really see anything in their hair um, I think the big the big thing is though your hair needs to be lightened um, either naturally like you know light light blonde or bleached and um, my hair is bleached but maybe it wasn't light enough I don't know I, and I'm not about to try that out because I don't want to damage my hair um, any more than I've you know I, I've been using bleach and I'm kind of done using it for a while so but one thing I have to say with this one, it really makes your hair soft. So that's the one thing that it, that that that's really going for this product. Um, it's to me, it's too expensive for me just to buy it just for that. But it's at least you know, um, at least it conditions my hair pretty nicely. So it does make my hair soft. So I do like that. So I'm planning to to go ahead and use it until. It's done, but I'm not planning to buy it again. It, just, I, I don't really see a huge difference with it. However, I got this one, which is the Punky Color um, brand, and this is a three-in-one um, 
right? This is not just a conditioner, but it's also um, shampoo, and it's, of course, the color depositing. Um, I love this one. This one's hands down. A, between the two of them, this is a whole lot better. This one is a whole lot better. Whole lot better. Um, as you can see, I use my extensions with it. Um, here, what I did, if you can see here, this was this is not hair dye. This is from here. This is from the from the shampoo. Um, what I did, and even on the ends of this hair, it's also from the shampoo. So I didn't use any dye at all with the extensions. Um, and what was really nice about this about this one is that. The top portion, because I wanted it to be a really dark blue to match the top of my head, so so I can blend the extensions a whole lot better. I I just I, I it was just kind of like a oh let me see how it works kind of thing, and so a trial kind of thing where I just went ahead and I put it on my extensions. And it was dry, and I let it sit there with it for I would say maybe about an hour and um, I went to go do what I got to do and then when I came back home I rinsed it out and bam it was like this nice dark blue like that like this color like basically the top of my head right so it's so it's a nice dark bright blue basically that's what it is um, and what I noticed with this one um, it again um, after I washed my hair from dyeing my my actual hair, when I when I used it for um, when I rinsed out my hair with the the Sparks dye, and then I went ahead and I just okay, let me just try it just to see if it does anything, um, just by using it and rinsing it out. Sure enough, it did. So I think it even helped even more up here to make it more vibrant. Then from just using the dye and then on the ends here like right here it kind of made because this here was more like that pastel smoky blue and now it made it more like a, um, a turquoise color which it turned out pretty nice and I really like it. I like that ombre effect where it was like that dark blue and then kind of turned into the turquoise so I really like it um, so with the ends of my hair of the extensions, I wanted to it to blend a little bit better with my hair. So I mean it was okay, and I'll and I'll show you a picture. I'll I'll uh, insert a picture um, on this video to show you guys how it was before I I um, I used this for the bottom part of my hair. And all I did was I basically said, okay, okay, instead of doing what I did on the top of the extension, soaking it in and letting it sit, I'll just kind of like use it as if I was washing my extensions. Just do a regular wash, you know, cleaning my extensions. So sure enough, I did that and it turned a whole lot darker. So like the bottom part previously, if you've seen even the previous video, it was kind of like a, almost like a, like a very, like, kind of like a pastel blue gray going on and so and then it turned out like this color and it's really pretty like I really I really like it um and it just I feel like it blends a whole lot better with my actual hair um so and it's I don't know and, and I like how like the there's like different colors different hues of the colors so let me see if you can I'll turn around for you so, yeah, so as you can see, there's a lot of different hues of blues in the back. And I really, really, really like that. Um, it's really, really, really pretty. Um, and I like it because it's just, I think it blends, it blends a whole lot better with it. A whole lot better. So, like before, it's still blended. It's just, I feel like it blends better. I didn't use all, I didn't, um, I didn't use this for all my extensions. There's a few pieces I kept out only because it, um, the bottom parts were already kind of dark, like a dark blue or a dark, um, or like almost like a, a medium purple color. So I thought just kind of keeping those there, it would be a nice, uh, 
pop of color when you see my hair in the back, which you've seen already. And I don't know. I just really, I really, I, I really do stand by this. This is a really good, good product. Again, with both these products, I bought these with my own money. So this is not, um, uh, what's that word? Sponsored or any way or anything like that. Um, so I sponsored or me, uh, them by, uh, I forgot that one word, but I think you know what I'm trying to say. But yeah, so it's not sponsored or anything like that. Um, so I bought it with my own money. And I just wanted to come on here and kind of put my, I guess, how I felt how I felt about the two different products. Um, the one thing that I can say that this also, besides it makes it softer, it does, it does have a, a I guess, a, a more of a pleasant smell. Uh, I'm not saying this has a, has more of a clean smell, if that makes sense. Doesn't have like that, doesn't have the, the flowery smell or anything like that. It just has a clean, a clean smell to it. Um, so, but it, you know, it's still, it's still a good product. I still like it and I'll still use it. But yeah, it, still ha it just has more of a clean, clean, like you're just cleaning your hair smell. Like almost like, um, for me, how I, s yeah, I guess like those clinging, there's those cleansing shampoos kind of thing. That's what it kind of, um, that's what it reminds me of, that smell. Um, this one has more of like a perfumey, I think has a clean smell to it, but at the same time has more of like a perfumey kind of smell to it. Uh, if that makes any sense to you guys. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to come on here real quick and show, give you the update of what my hair looks like now. Um, I am still going for that gray color. Um, however, because the bleach wasn't as light as I would like it for like all over, like like there were just some parts that just didn't lighten up as 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 light I would like it to, so um, I went ahead. <clears throat> excuse me, I went ahead and I went this route. You know, I said, you know what? I never tried blue before, and I really got into the blue the the blue colors when I tried out that smoky blue um, hair dye from L'Oreal, and I really liked it. And then I said, you know what? Maybe I should just you know just try it out just try out the blue color and then just see how long you know and and I, I'm kind of curious too to see how long this hair color is going to last um, from what I've from what I've heard on YouTube some people were saying that it it takes a while for it to come out depending on what which blue hair dye you do use um, sometimes when you're trying to get the blue out it's really hard to get out so that's going to be a pretty nice, if that's the case, then if it's going to take a while, I mean, it will lighten up, but if it's going to take a while for it to fully come out, then that's a pretty good deal. Then I don't have to be spending so much money on, like, I have like a, I have a funky color and at the same time, at the same time, I'm not, um, bleaching my hair and I'm not, um, you know, I'm not, um, damaging it and stuff like that and I can still have a funky color and it will last long I'm really I'm really in I'm really uh, interested in to see how long this will last um, we'll see I know probably a def definitely the extensions will last a whole lot longer because you don't you don't wash your extensions as as frequently as you do with your own hair so that part I'm not too sure but I am I am definitely gonna see how well this how this um, takes um, using this after a while so I'm really curious to see like if I use this will it kind of you know refresh in the hair before I actually have to dye it again um, but again I am I'm hoping what 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 my ultimate goal is I'm hoping that it will kind of fade into a nice blue silver I'm hoping that's what it's gonna do I'll see if it does it I don't know if it's gonna do it or not but it's gonna be definitely something that I think I'm just going to kind of run with it and just see how it goes and um, you know I'm not too worried about this when I'm going back to work 
only because I do have a coworker that wears funky colors as well, so, and they don't say anything about it, so, um, and a lot of my, my, both my bosses already know that I'm a wig wearer, so, and I've worn some funky colors at school, so, and I'm at an elementary school, so I feel like it's a little bit more, I guess you could say more lenient in that way where they're not gonna, cause you know, you're with kids and, and I think too, like having this kind of color will kind of like, oh, you look so cool, Mrs. Regis, you know? So they always have, they, they always have a fun time seeing me with funky colors when I do wear my funky wigs. So they have a kick out of it. So, um, and I think that's kind of like what helps, you know, have a, me having a, even a closer connection with these kids. So, um, Hopefully, I mean, hopefully, you know, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I I don't think I'm going to have a big issue with it. I really don't. I mean, if it comes down to it that um, they don't want me to be wearing blue hair, then I'm just going to rock, probably rock a, uh, a, one of my, one of my wigs that's a natural color, probably most likely, I'm looking at most likely, Probably my blonde one, the one that my hubby got me for um, for Mother's Day, that blonde one that I have. So if it comes down to it, because I'm not about to dye my hair brown or or black or any other normal color, um, I'm really like I'm saying I'm trying to go towards that embracing my gray. So yeah, this is gonna be a journey. It's gonna be it's not gonna be a quick journey where I'm gonna have blonde like that. Or not blonde, I mean gray like that. So it's going to take some time probably uh, for it to, to kind of fade into that color. So, you know, if it really comes down to it, that's what a wigs are for. So I just plop on a wig and wear my, <laughs> wear, wear a wig to work. You know, what can I do? But that's what I'm planning to do. If they really don't want me, if they're really like not excited about me wearing blonde, uh, wearing this blue wig, I'm um, blue wig, this blue hair. Um, that's not gonna stop me. I'm gonna still wear this. I'm gonna still wear this funky color. Um, however, I am going to definitely um, just plop on a wig. That's the beauty of wigs, right? You can change up your hairstyle in seconds. So. Anyways, guys, that is it. That's all I have to say for you guys. Um, other than that, um, please like and subscribe. I, again, did use my iPhone 10 this time. I don't know. I really like the quality, how it came out. Um, I might try to get a stand for it so I can interchange. Sometimes use my GoPro and then sometimes use my iPhone 10. So I might get a, a better stand for my phone so I can have it more landscape, not up straight because unfortunately you probably see on the side of me right now black so <laughs> um so i'm gonna try to do that i'm gonna try to find like maybe get a stand for my for my iphone and so yeah but yeah anyways guys thank you so much and please like and subscribe and check it later